Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose. I'm a mad woman that loves cats and loves to talk about makeup. And in this episode today, we're talking about all of my March favorites, all kinds of good stuff that I just need and love. And then there's butterflies and then there's kitties and then there's makeup stuff like this palette. And then I also do this look because I thought it'd be more fun to do a March favorites actually using the stuff that are my, that's my March favorites. So you can kind of see it in action. So if you want to see how I get all this spice that's going on on my face and all my other March faves, then you are just going to keep watching. All right, let's hop in. I'm going to prime my face. These are actually my favorite primers. One's a face primer, one's an eye primer. I've been using these all March long and a little bit of February. I have not stopped using them. This is the Ulay Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer and then the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I actually use this as a primer underneath my eyes as well. So I'll do my normal skincare routine and still use these. So I just take a really small amount and then I kind of just start here on my cheeks and then I start to tap, tap it out. And then with the eye primer, I just grab a little bit. Normally I use a brush to apply this, but I don't have my brush with me. And I just love a clean makeup brush to apply these primers. They're so nice. And then the eye is so good and it helps with creasing. So this is my favorite primer of March. I grabbed this one too. I'm not gonna use this one today because I wanna be extra luminous and I know I'm not gonna wear my makeup as long, but if I'm gonna wear my makeup for three plus hours, I grab this primer right here. This is from Arborian and it's the Extra Matte Ultra Mattifying Primer Shine Control. I'll use this right through the center of my face. I'll still use the Ulai one, but I always use this one in the center of my face. Makeup just sticks right to it. It keeps it really matte. You don't get shiny. Honestly, I've been swearing by this. And if you have oily skin, this is where it's at. So I have been using this one all March too. And like I said, I'm not gonna use this one today cause I'm not gonna be wearing my makeup a long time. But if I was, this is the one I would grab. So basically all March long, all I've been using are the P Louise bases. And I wanted to use this today and kind of do a neon pink graphic eye. I don't know what sounds fun. We're actually not even gonna use eyeshadow on our lid in any way, but I am gonna grab a palette, but we'll get to that in a second, which is also one of my March faves. But for right now, I'm gonna mix these two together. This is the P. Louise Pop in Pink, and then I'm gonna use Rumor Zero. So this one's out of one of the collections. I'll have everything listed below with links. And when I first got these, I purchased them from the site because all you guys are always asking me, where did you get it, where did you get it? I purchased my first one from the site. I believe I received it like two weeks later because they are in the UK, so shipping takes a second. But I had great customer service and everything, but then once they saw that I had ordered them, they did ship me a whole PR package, and I'm very grateful for that. But I've been using them non-stop. So I'm mixing Rumor. Rumor's the white one, and then of course Pop and Pink is the pink. And I'm gonna mix these two together, and the white's just gonna make it stand out a little bit more. Perfect. I feel really fun with these. They've just brought out a really creative side to me and they're just really easy to work with. They're so easy to work with. So I'm taking a Dose of Colors concealer brush. I'm gonna grab a mirror, this one looks good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw, you're just like a normal standard wing. And normally when I do a black wing, I'll start from the outer part. These are almost like shadow cream, primer. I, they, I don't know. They're like the best hybrid ever. And this is the perfect shade of pink. I nailed it. I'm going to wink at myself. Good job, Rose. Okay, onward. So it's okay. This can be pretty thick. And I'm going to stop talking as much for just a second. Perfect. And then obviously fill it in. Don't worry about perfection yet because we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna shut my eye. I'm not gonna shut it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave it open, but I'm just gonna make sure it's relaxed. And we're gonna draw a line through here and connect. So I just kind of lay down the groundwork. Don't worry about perfecting it yet because we'll switch our brush in just a second for, for perfecting. But for right now, and it even helps to kind of lean back. And don't forget, you can always take your fingernail and go just like that. And now I'm just gonna tap, and the key to this is to make sure it's evenly distributed. 
Now for the fun part. So this is the palette that I've been using nonstop. I've only had this one probably two weeks, but I have almost used it every single day during the end of March. It's amazing. So I'm going to be using this shade right here and this shade, mixing these two together. And Ben's gonna get you in closer, so hang on. So I'm taking a MAC 242S and I'm going to pat this on. I'm gonna build this up like no other. We want a lot of the white because the white's gonna bring out the brightness as well. And I'm tapping, I'm just gonna tap it all through here. This will set it and just bring out all of that. Look how pretty that is. We'll do a few finishing details obviously to make it look a little more polished, but for right now, we're just gonna tap this on and tap it through here as well. I'm still gonna finish up the eye. I'm gonna do, I think a matte white inner corner. We'll see, but we definitely wanna set the brow balm with some white, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my lashes started. These are, I've been using these all month long. You guys have seen. These are Lava Lashes in the style Angelic. I think Angelic and Sweetheart are my faves, but I'm just gonna let you know the quality of these suckers. I've already worn these like 10 times and the band is doing just fine. I'm obsessed with Lava Lashes. So you guys can use my code ROSE for a discount, but you guys, you need a pair of these. They're gonna lash you and I'm telling you, I can't stop wearing them. Let me decorate them with some glue, BRB. Okay guys, I'm gonna take the white eyeshadow from the Editorial Brights and we're just gonna highlight our brow bone. This just really cleans everything up and really makes your brow bone pop. Throw it on my lashes real careful because we can't have lash glue irritating all my pink going on here. Yeah. There you go, perfect. Let it dry and then we'll pinch it on a little bit more. I do have a lash tutorial on my channel which will be linked below. All right, all of March, I have been wearing this Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and I have not looked back. This is so good. This shade is perfect. The shade I wear is 3.45 and I like to apply it with my Smith 151. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of stipple it on just a little bit. I let it warm up for, I don't know, like 10 seconds. Just let it kind of warm into your skin. And then, let's wait just a second. But honestly, you're about to see, it's just so much like skin. It wears so well, it never separates. It never looks wild or bizarre later after I wear it. And it just looks so pretty. And look at that match. It just matches my neck flawlessly. I have just been wearing it nonstop. Like I've been trying to try other foundations and I just keep going back to this one. Now you are going to be freaking out when I tell you the other foundation that is my other March favorite because I wore that the other day and if it was just a shade darker, I would have been wearing it. But as soon as I get this blended in, I'll show you the other foundation. And it's a drugstore foundation. Obsessed. And like I said, if it was just a shade darker, I'd be using that one instead of this one. But I am absolutely loving the Beauty Blender Foundation for March. All right, not a March favorite, a forever favorite. I'm using my Kylie Concealer in the shade Himalaya. I use this one just to correct and make sure we, it gets rid of shadow since it has a little more pinky, um, peachy undertone, it does that. It just really gets rid of any blue or dark circles or shadows. And I'll just use a little bit on my forehead. I try to keep the smallest amount on my forehead. And then I grab gypsum, which is lighter. And I'll just put a little bit underneath here just to brighten. Sometimes when you put too light of a concealer trying to brighten, it doesn't cancel out the undertones that are causing the shadows anyways. So that's why I mix the two. And it doesn't matter the order. I just kind of throw it on and then I grab my LC, the Velvet Sponge. And I like to blend it in. And there's nothing more satisfying than watching concealer blend. It's my favorite part. And I just kind of want to show you. Look at this. Look at this blend. It never lets me down. It's just so pretty. And then I'll just go down the nose. I don't put much on my nose. And then that's why I don't put much on my forehead either. But you still want everything to be cohesive. Just that little bit of 
pigment from the concealer is just gonna make sure everything ties in. And I'm also obsessed with the Kylie powder. I use the shade Soft Pink. I switch back between this one and the translucent. I'll use the translucent all over my face, but the soft pink underneath my eyes is just so pretty. And I'm gonna do a side by side so you guys can see it really fast. I've been using this all of March, whenever they came out. I've had it probably now about three weeks. And I've been using it every single day. And it just works so beautifully with the concealer. I mean, you can just see a difference. It just smooths. It just looks like, ugh, ugh. It just looks so good. And this side I have not set yet. And you can see that it gets rid of this little I have here. And it just smooths it and just lifts. And it does not crease. And it feels so light on the skin. And that's why it is in my March faves. We already know this is gonna go into April faves too. I love it. So I'm gonna show you guys two products that are really similar. First is the Galactic Face Glow in the shade Moonlight. These are creams. And I actually use this one as blush and then this one as a highlighter. They have different uh, shades, but I always go to Moonlight. But this, I'm showing you this because I'm obsessed with this for March. But then there's also a product from Natasha Denona called the Bloom Palette, and it has like a similar cream vibe. But this one is definitely the more affordable, so I'm gonna use this one today. And I'm still obsessed with it. The only thing different I like about the Bloom Palette is just the colors. It's just more options, but this is literally has the same quality. It's just so good. Girlactic is totally underrated, you guys. You guys need to check them out for sure. I actually have a discount code with Girlactic too. It's just my name, Rose, but look at that. And I want to let you guys know I have not put any powder here whatsoever. So we're just gonna highlight this. It just gives such a beautiful sheen. I just feel like it just screams spring. So good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other shade. The They don't have names, just the whole thing is called Moonlight. And then we'll use this as our blush. Just more luminosity to the skin. I like doing a really intense like neon eye and then doing like really luminous, fresh skin. And then across here, whatever's left on the blender. Oh, my blender is dry, dry as a bone. Whenever I do cream products, I feel like this doesn't mess up anything if you do it with a dry blender. I wanted to go ahead and show you the Bloom palette because I am obsessed. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this. Don't be afraid of this color, but know that this blush is off the chain pigmented, so I always, go on the back of my hand before I put it on my face. And we'll just use the cream part. I go into the blush, back of the hand, cause we can't be out here looking like wild. Then I'll be back there going, that's so much blush. And I'll be like, I love it. I'm really into blush right now. And again, oh look, my blender matches my eye. That's cute. Just give us some more color. There you go. Cause we don't want too much cause the eyes are so hot pink. But I'm loving this palette. I've used it nonstop since I've got it. I use it all the time on my daily tutorials. Make sure you guys find me on Instagram because I do daily tutorials there. What? Put it in my ear. Put you that. Gotta, you gotta. We're not done. I don't wanna fix it. I wanna leave it like that. Come on, Kylie loves her blush. She goes wild with the blush and looks so cute on her. So we'll do it just like that. And then I will grab my other blender. Actually, I do like to put blush across here, but I'm not gonna go back in. Whatever's left, I'm just gonna put across my nose, anywhere the sun naturally hits. And then we'll go ahead and grab our other blender before Ben has a tiny little baby conniption over there. And then we'll just go over it. And then it just melts it. Work the edges out. Ooh, he knows. When's that, when's that Ben Sire Cosmetics dropping? I don't know, you can't be doing a big circle with blush in your face. You I just don't feel like we're on the same page with blush. I feel like we need to have a sit down. I mean, I feel like we need to have a sit down. This looks so cute. They're so baby pink. I love yeah, them. The no, they're done. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we still have to put powder on it, so you're okay. All right, next up. Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. I'm using just the contour side, and I use a Smith 150, me, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of this, just enough to just kinda give us a little bit more of a chiseled look. And then notice I'm blending it upwards. I will say that this is more than a March fave. I've been using this for quite some time. My friend Melissa, who you guys need to follow, she is such an amazing celebrity makeup artist. 
I get a lot of my inspo from her. She's so awesome and literally the sweetest. But she told me to get this and I have been obsessed ever since. So I'm just gonna push this into my hairline and do the other side. All right guys, I'm living for this face powder. This is the Galactic Luminous Face Powder in the shade Medium. I've been using this for all, the whole month and I just think it looks like skin. Like I can literally put it on top of this glow and it will not take my glow away, but it takes away the shine. It's just the perfect amount. It's so spring and summer perfect. And I'm using an Isom X51, also one of my March favorites. I've, I'm obsessed with this brush and this one right here, I'm gonna grab it really fast. I'm gonna be using this one in a second, but this is also an Isom X52. These two brushes have honestly, I, you have to pry them out of my hand. I've been obsessed. I have links for these. Uh, they're from Isom Cosmetics and it's through Muse Beauty. And I, I'm telling you guys, it's just, they're so perfect. And they're so soft and they just fit perfectly. Like anytime I go to place them, they're just like, they do what I need them to do. They never let me down. So I am gonna set just a little heavier where we set, put the bronzer. That way when I put a little more bronzer on top, we're not gonna have any streaky issues. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this in and I'm gonna bring whatever's left on the brush down the neck. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade from the Natasha Donna Bloom palette. This is the one that goes on top of the other blush. I know, Ben's just having, Apparently I get on TikTok and watch way too much TikTok because I don't know, I'm obsessed with everything on TikTok. That's a saying from there. But I'm just gonna throw this on here. Just right there and then the high points of the face really fast. And I just think it's the most beautiful, luminous, like, ugh, ugh. What does she do? Is she sweaty? Is she glowy? What is she, she's doing something. That's what it makes me think of. I'm hot, hold on. <sighs> a rough job right now thank god for my fan Woo! brb just going to contour a little bit more with my kylie cosmetics tequila uh, <laughs> tequila tan i'm obsessed with this bronzer i have been using this all month long too this one and then the kitten baby blush are like on repeat just a little bit and then i take whatever's left and just kind of go down the nose just make sure it's kind of bronzed and cohesive and then a little bit on my forehead not too much now that's good put down the bronzer rose put it down i also feel like i've been using these non-stop uh these are the makeup forever artist color pencils and this is the shade unlimited blue and i'm just going to throw this on my waterline because i kind of got inspired by my little hair clips and my backdrop and it was like do you guys remember those ice creams from the ice cream man they were bubble gum and they were literally these two shades together that's what i'm craving right now so i decided to put that on my eye instead so we're just gonna throw this on. That looks pretty good. Let's bring it out a little bit. And then I'll grab one more shade from the bright palette over here just to lightly set that. I'm just gonna grab a touch of this color right here and just a touch of the white to kind of make a turquoise vibe going there. Y'all know. And I'm gonna grab this little Sigma. I think this is a lip brush, it is. It's a, oh no, it's a pinpoint concealer. So it's a Sigma F68. And I'm just going to kind of just drag this from my lash line down into the bottom of it. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take just my fluffy brush that I always use from Japanese, my fluffy concealer, and just kind of whatever's left on here. Oh! Whew, I can't see, oh, I love this. It's so pretty and so simple yet so impactful. And I'm just gonna throw that underneath here to make sure it's nice and set. Now I wanna match my lips to my eyes. So I'm taking this Artist Color Pencil and this is in the shade Fuchsia Etc. And it's 802 Fuchsia Etc. I love these. And I'm just gonna do a rough line. And then I'm gonna mix the P. Louise and that's gonna be our lipstick because we are so artistic today. Okay guys, I'm just gonna take the rest of the P. Louise vase that was on the back of my hand and we're gonna use that as lipstick. And then we're also gonna put just a little eyeshadow on top to make it extra wild. And we are almost done. I'm just using that same concealer brush. And then I'll pick up my lip liner again to perfect it. And I'm drooling. 
What's up with that? I just picked up a little bit of the pink and the white from the Editorial Brights, the same palette we've been using. I just kind of tapped this in the center until it all blends in and disappears. I've really been into this for the neons. It just adds such an amazing quality. Wipe your finger off each time before you put it back in your palette. That way it doesn't get a weird film on it. And this base actually does not feel strange on my lips at all. It feels amazing. This has also been my March fave. This is the Hank and Henry Slick With It Duo and it's a dual ended mascara. And this tiny end has honestly made my entire makeup world so much better. I actually have a code with Hank and Henry Beauty and the code is ROSE and I'm obsessed. So finish this up and then we'll get started on the rest of my faves. Okay, now that we're done with the makeup look, I can fix whatever this is. And this is actually one of my March faves. I've used this for a while, but I've picked it back up and I've been like wild over it. I actually bought this full size. I got a sample size of one of my boxes. I don't know which one it was. I think it was an Allure box, but I fell in love with it because it's not like a hairspray. It's more like a controlling dry oil and my hair, it can get a little frizzy. It's not like super like wild, but it's not damaging on my hair and it just feels so good and it doesn't make my hair feel dirty. And it's called the Kenra Dry Oil Control Spray Medium Hold Nourishing Spray. So it is like a spray, but it's not like a hairspray. I can't, I can't explain it. And it smells so good. And it just controls the chaos that can be my hair. And it doesn't leave my hair feeling dirty. So I kind of just spray it in. And then I even just spray a little bit on my hands. And then I'll just go down my hair. And it just leaves it so smooth and shiny and perfect. So this has been one of my March phase. I wanted to add this because I've been meaning to talk about it and now's a good time. So you definitely want this. So I wanted to show you guys an alternative to this palette because this one's really, really pricey, but I fell in love with this one. I did a look with this the other day and it was insane how pigmented and pretty this is. So this is the BH Cosmetics Color Festival and I have a code with BH. My code is Rose. So you could get a discount on this as well, but it's just so pretty and so flippin' pigmented. And I fell in love. I was like, when I opened it, I was like, look at that. That just screams, I need to be on your face. But I fell in love with this. And this is like a neon, and these are so hard to get pigmented and smooth. And this sucker is so smooth. So if you guys are looking for like a bright palette for the spring to do all these kind of looks, this is your palette right here. I'll have all the links and then my code next to it because you guys, I'm telling you, the packaging's so fun too. And there's a mirror. This one's a win, spring, March favorite right here. This is the other foundation that I am obsessed with. I've used this a couple times and I've actually worn it out and I've worn it for hours. And let me tell you, it's not letting me down. The only thing I wish is there was just one shade a little bit darker, but with these exact undertones. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation. And the shade that works for me is 201 classic beige. I just wish it was like classic tan beige. That's where we need to be. We just need to put a tan in there. But the finish is so amazing. And let me show you another reason I love it. I love this applicator. It's so, so good. Why is there a cat hair on it? Can Judah please stop putting on my makeup? That cat is out of control. No, seriously, you wanna know why my stuff has cat hair? Because I'll kiss him maniacally and then I'll have cat hair and then I'll be like, <laughs> I am cat hair. If you own cats, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, this right here is just, it's so, so good. It does not oxidize. It smells so nice. It feels so good. It says it's lightweight skin perfecting foundation with medium coverage, breathable skin technology that moisturizes for up to 24, 25 hours, broad spectrum SPF 20, summer perfection in a bottle. You guys, if you follow me on my Instagram, you're gonna be seeing me use this all summer long. I can always warm it up. I actually have a color corrector that I kind of add to my other foundations to warm them up and make them match my skin. So we're gonna make this work. So, so bomb and a drugstore. I think it's like $7. It's like $7.99, eight bucks. It's, oh, it's so good. Last but not least, I have my Velvet Caviar phone cases. I'm gonna hold this one up first. I mean, you guys, we all need this and we all need to match. Look at it. So this is the little, I don't even know what these are called, like pop socket, foam holder. I don't know. I love these. And I actually cannot live without them now because this is how I take my selfies and it helps me just like hold my hand better. Are we in focus? Now we are. 
but it just helps me hold the foam better and I can take better selfies. I know, kind of lame, but it's so good. <laughs> And then this one's just so cute. It's all the little coffees and the green straws. I actually have a code with Velvet Caviar. The code is ROSE15. You guys, you need this. I was the kind of person that was like, no, I'm not gonna do a phone case. I only have otter boxes. Honestly, my phone is perfectly fine. There's not one crack. These are so protective. Like, don't be afraid. If you're like, oh, if it's cute, it's not gonna be protective. I promise you guys. And this one is going on my phone next. The butterflies, look at them. Oh, they're so pretty, I'm so excited. And then, um, hello. Basically this sums up Rose wholeheartedly. Look at these cats, look at them. But yeah, Velvet Caviar is so bomb, so good, protective. They're great, great customer service. I've been working with them for like so long and they're so sweet and they're so, I just, they have the best designs. I mean, I see phone cases all over and Velvet Caviar is the way to go. Links below with my code, get you one. Use my code, let's match. And then like send it to me and be like, look, we're matching, yeah. All right guys, this is the finished look. We're spicy, we're springy, and this is all of our favorites on our face. I actually did this look, well a similar look with the neon green and that's on my page too and that was pretty poppin'. But this technique's pretty easy, it's fun to do. I feel like it's like real trendy right now, real spicy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you like my monthly favorites, but I think I'm gonna do it different because when I do all my faves, I wanna actually apply them so you guys can kind of see them in action. I think that's more fun than just sitting here and talking about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want you to stop yawning. I do not bore you with my March favorites. All right, I love you all so much. Ben loves you guys too. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and we'll see ya. Bye.